Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom. As always, I hope you're doing well today. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at some pedals from today's sponsor, Cairo Audio. So if you don't know who Cairo Audio are, they are an amp brand based out of Bulgaria and they make some pretty good stuff. Looking at some reviews and listening to some other videos of people playing these uh, pedals, I mean, they're fantastic. I'm gonna leave a link to the Cairo Audio website down in the description if you wanna go check out any of the products that are featured today. I also wanna thank Mario over at Shane Star Guitars and Gear. It's an Alpharetta based reverb store. I'm gonna leave a link to that reverb store down in the description. He's the one that actually facilitated all this, spoke with Cairo Audio and actually sent the pedals out to me. So thank you, Mario, I really appreciate that. And I also wanna thank Carl at the Art of Shred channel for actually getting me in touch with Mario to get this whole thing going anyway. So I'm gonna leave a link to his channel down there in the description as well. He makes some really, really cool videos, cool reviews, all that kind of good stuff. Make sure you go check them out. All right, so uh, without further dudes, let's check out the pedals we're looking at today. So before we go any further, I just wanna say this. This is a sponsored video, but I do reserve the right to be honest and fair with you, the consumer. If you decide to buy any of these, I want it to be because you actually think it's good. And I want you to take my word for it if I do tell you that it's good. And if it's bad, I'm gonna tell you why. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what I think is the central theme of this video. And that is this pedal right here. This is the Cairo Audio Dulo 830 amp pedal. This is a 30 watt amp pedal. Now, if you don't know what an amp pedal is, take your amp head, make it a pedal. If you have this and a cabinet, you have a rig. Lots of cool stuff going on here. You got a three band EQ, volume presence, a bunch of little switches on the side, including a ground lift, a cab sim, a bright switch, an equalizer switch. I mean, it's pretty versatile. Mute button here to turn the amp on and off, essentially. You got your input jack here where you would plug your guitar in. On the other side, this is where you plug it into a cabinet. Now it is rated, I believe, for, it says use only with passive four to 16 ohm speakers. So um, pretty much rated for any kind of cabinet. Just double check before you go plugging an amp, any amp into your uh, cabinet. You don't wanna blow your speakers. And then this right here is a really cool feature too. This is a line out. So you can plug this into like a soundboard at a venue and there's your amp right there. Or if you wanna plug it into your interface, you can record direct from the pedal. So with that being an amp pedal, you want other pedals to plug into it, right? Well, Cairo Audio was so kind to send me another pedal. Let me introduce you to the Cookie, the Cookie, I think that's what you call it. Um, it's got this cool little scary face on there. And this is a preamp pedal. And this is a really cool preamp pedal because it's got three different voices, three different channels. You have a modern voice, a vintage voice, and a classic voice, which is this top switch up here. You have a clipping switch here. So soft, medium, and hard. You have a bypass switch here. You have your two channels buttons down here so this one is a clean and drive and then this one is your lead you have individual level and gain knobs which i think i got that backwards yeah so gain and level knobs you have a master tone up here which i think is probably the most underrated knob on any pedal and then because mario over at shane star guitars and gear is so kind he decided to send me two other pedals to go along with this to plug into the duo to kind of show what it can do so just to show these other pedals really quick this is the Bumblebee by Barefoot. This is a tweed style pedal. So if you're looking for that like Fender tweed type sound, you go get one of these. Again, these pedals are available at Shane Star Guitar and Gear. Reverb link in the description. If your flavor is more of the Marshall type, we have the Metaplexi here from QSAC Music. Again, available at Shane Star Guitar and Gear. Reverb link in the description. It's a Plexi pedal. It looks the part. Does it sound the part? It, it does. There's all the pedals we're using. Let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and start hooking up some pedals and making some sounds. Okay, so I have everything hooked up, ready to go, ready to show you what these pedals can do. Let me give you a little bit of a rundown on our setup. So I have the Kuki and the Dulo both hooked up down here on the floor, uh, or rather on this box, so the camera down here on the pedals can get it. Um, the Kuki is in its bypass mode right now, so we're not gonna hear anything from that just yet. Stick around. Uh, the Dulo is active. I've got my guitar turned down, so we're not hearing anything right now, but it is plugged into my Black Star 212 with my SM57 miking it up and getting these sounds to you guys. So let's see what the Dulo just sounds like on its own. All the EQ at 12 o'clock. That's a pretty nice clean sound, I gotta say, just for plugging it straight in, getting into the cab, 
that, that's a really nice clean sound. I really like that. So immediately, lots of possibilities to go ahead and EQ it and get it sounding more suited for either your tuning or maybe if you're gonna be adding some gain to it, some distortion, what have you. On the topic of tone shaping, let's go ahead and go down to the equalizer on the Dula. So while we're down here, something I'd like to note, this little switch right here is the equalizer switch. You wanna make sure that it is in the up position, otherwise any moves that you make on your equalizer will not matter. So let's go ahead and dial back some bass, dial in some mid, dial in just a little bit of treble, and we're actually gonna push the presence back slightly. Now let's hear what the duo sounds like with some EQ moves. To me, sounds much more balanced, much more suited for the tuning of this guitar. It's a drop B, as in boy. So it's already got a lot of low end to begin with. I wanted to dial some of that out, give it some more mid, just to kind of balance it out. And that's basically all there is to the Dulo if you're plugging into a cab. So let's go ahead and keep those EQ moves. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Kooky, because that's where we're going to get a lot of our other tones from. And um, I will adjust EQ as we need to. Obviously, you'll see it on the pedal cam. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and engage the Kooky. So you see the Kooky is plugged in right now, but it is not on. That's because of this little switch right here. This is the bypass switch. If you want to turn it on to the clean channel, you just flip that switch. If you wanted to go straight to the gain channel or the drive channel, if it's in the bypass mode, if you hit this right here, it'll take you straight to it, just so you know. But we're gonna start, oop, we're gonna start with a clean. So now we're on the clean channel of the Kooky. Again, I've not messed with any of the EQ settings on the Dulo. I'm on the classic voice. There are three voices to the Kooky pedal. There's classic, vintage, and modern. I will go through all of those for each of these tones as we get to them. But let's go ahead and start on the clean channel with the classic voice. <laughs> So it's like a clean boost is what it is, to me anyway. It sounds like it because it's got a little bit of grit. It's got a little bit more level to it. Um, obviously on the Kooky you have a gain knob and a level knob for that channel. So if it's too much for you compared to what you were getting through the regular amp, um, if you want to set levels, the Kooky pedal makes it super duper easy to do that on either channel. So while we're on the clean channel of the Kooky, let's go ahead and switch voices here to the vintage voice. And you'll probably notice as well, I'm kind of playing the same chords and everything. I'm trying to make it real chordal, um, just so you can hear kind of everything ringing out at once. When we get into more distorted tones, I might do some more lead stuff, but for now, we're sticking with rhythm, chords, that kind of deal. So I really like that immediately, just in the room. Again, I don't know what you're hearing on YouTube because YouTube compresses the sound, but in the room, that sounds fantastic. Um, I'm getting a lot of, a lot of bass response, but not in a bad way. So again, that's why I'm kind of playing chords. Uh, they're drop chords, you know, drop B, but. all of the notes in any of the chords ring out. So with this vintage voice, that sounds really, really good. Um, it, it brings back some of the bass. So if you dial back the bass on the Dulo and put it on the vintage voice on the clean channel, you get a pretty good balance. Let's go ahead and flip to the modern channel now. And with it being a modern voice, I'm gonna assume it's more mid-range, more high-end, things like that. Let's take a listen. Definitely more mid-range on that. Um, again, I know I have the EQ set, kind of how it's set, but these voices are just like radically changing the EQ moves that I've had. So let's go ahead and mess with the EQ just a little bit and see if we can put a little more bass in here, maybe a little more high end and dial out some of the mids to see if it really is a mid focused voice. So 
So it is a mid focused voice because I dialed out a little bit of the mids and put in a little more bass and it's immediately more balanced. Yeah. So modern is more mid, I'd say vintage has more bass. Classic sits somewhere kind of right in the middle. I'm gonna keep that in mind and maybe you should too as we go into more distorted tones. So let's go ahead and engage the drive channel. I'm gonna keep it on the modern voice for now and let's see what kind of tones we can get out of that. So since we're still on the modern voice, I'm gonna keep the EQ settings the same on the duo as we did when we were on the clean channel. Let's see what this sounds like. That would punch through any mix, on or off stage, recording, whatever. That sounds really good. That's a really good, like, uh, overdriven, crunchy kind of tone. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's a good sound. Let's see what we get with the vintage sound. I won't change the EQ on this this time, but let's just see what we get. So you're adding distortion. The EQ is not gonna matter as much at least in this case, because it still sounds great. Because you noticed again with the clean, like I said, it would seem to have more bass, but this, there's no problem. So, I mean, maybe, you know, doing a little bit of a mid scoop isn't that bad on the uh, vintage voice. I dare say, I'm really excited to see what it sounds like when we add the lead channel in. But let's go ahead and check out the classic voice on the drive channel. Okay, so that's probably my favorite drive sound. Where the EQ is now, again, I've still not touched it since we looked at the clean. That sounds great. It's really balanced. There's not too much low end. The highs aren't, you know, ear grating and sound like nails on a chalkboard. That sounds really nice. I think that's my favorite drive sound. All right. Let's go ahead and engage the lead channel. We're gonna stay on the classic voice, but let's go ahead and engage the lead channel on the kooky. Pretty blue light for the lead channel, but what's it sound like? Yeah, that's really nice. Um, I think I would kick on a little more gain. In fact, let's kick on a little more gain, which is this top knob here. So now we're gonna set it about a seven on the gain. Oof, even that bend. <laughs> so much more saturation. Yeah, put some delay and some reverb on that tone, soaring solos all day long. Staying on the lead channel, let's switch to another voice. I think we're gonna go to vintage this time. I'm gonna keep the gain where it's at, keep the EQ where it's at, because it all sounds really good right now. That's really, really good. The extra bass response that you're kind of getting from the vintage voice that I'm hearing. It's not, it's not like it's dramatic, right? It's not like you're hearing, oh, there's so much more low end. 
but it's it's just noticeable enough to when you're where you're switching the voices where it's gonna make a difference. So I think thus far we have no bad tones that we can talk about. Maybe some subpar playing, but no bad tones. Just proof enough to say that a good pedal can make any player sound good. <laughs> enough self-loathing. Let's go ahead and switch to the modern channel. Again, all gain settings, all EQ settings, exactly the same as they've been since we've started the lead channel. <laughs> So still got that mid-range kind of punch, that high-end kind of snap. It's got something else kind of going on that I can't really put my finger on, but it's it's definitely going to have something that'll cut through a mix, and um, you know, no no overdone low end or anything. It chugs. So overall, very impressed. Uh, there's a lot to this pedal. Um, we've gone through just about everything that we can do on it. The Kuki, I mean, is, is fantastic. Um, with the Dulo as the amp platform for the Kuki, I mean, there's, it's a great pairing, right? But here's the thing. You would expect Cairo Audio to make its products all go together, right? I mean, it'd be silly if they made this preamp and it didn't go with their amazing amp pedal. But what about third-party pedals? Aha, that's gonna be the real test. So let's take the Kuki out and put the Bumblebee by Barefoot pedals in, which is a Fender Tweed style distortion. And we're back. What was like a second for you was probably like a solid minute or two for me while I switched out these pedals. But we now have the Bumblebee by Barefoot pedals going into the Cairo Audio Dulo. So again, just for reference, this is the Dulo. I left the EQ settings the same as we had with the Kuki, but let's go ahead and see just where we're at now. Right, still sounds great. Let's engage the bumblebee. It's really strange. I thought I was demoing a Cairo Audio Dulo amp pedal, but I guess this is a, a Fender Tweed amp demo. No, it's not. <laughs> These pedals just pair really well together. They just sound that good. Um, I've never heard of barefoot pedals, but apparently them and uh, Cairo Audio are best friends because they make pedals that, that pair well together. That's an amazing tone. For me, a little bit too much bass in. But just listen to that like mid kind of fuzzy. I mean, it's it's a Fender amp all day long, right? It sounds just like it. So let's go mess with some of the settings on the Bumblebee and see how it reacts with what the settings that we have on the Dulo. Let's add some boost. Let's add some treble. I think this says nature, so we're gonna take some nature out, which I'm assuming is bass, maybe. And let's turn that out just a little bit. <laughs> Immediately, so much more balanced. I played two chords. And it's, that's amazing. I'm, th this is genuine like, wow, this sounds great. This isn't acting, that's incredible. I've, I'm, I'm one of those people that has a hard time dialing in a good tone. And the fact that I'm just tweaking a knob here and there and I'm getting these tones is, it's incredible, right? It's amazing. <laughs> That is amazing. Again, showing the versatility of what the Dulo can do, you know, because I want to say that not all amps 
take pedals very well, or at least don't take certain pedals very well. And I got an example. That's not just me trying to sell you a product or nothing. Here's an example. I have a Friedman BE Mini over there in the corner. You can't see it. It used to be on top of my Black Star, but hey, it, you can't put a drive pedal through that. You can't put a distortion pedal through that. You want to know why? Because it's one channel. It's a one trick pony. It does one thing and that is distortion. It's already got all the distortion you would ever need in the world on it, right? So you can't put a distortion pedal through it. It's gonna to be too muddy, whatever. With the Dulo, it's a pedal platform, essentially. It's an amp, it's a clean amp, and it can take practically any pedal in the world, and this is proving that with the Bumblebee. But that's just one other pedal, right? That's one other pedal that Cairo Audio doesn't make. But we do have one more pedal that's another familiar flavor that some people may be more inclined to take, and that is the Metaplexi, which is more of like a Marshall-y sound. So let's go ahead and get the Metaplexi on there and see how that sounds to the Dulo. So I'm back. I have the Metaplexi plugged up. What was like a second for you guys was like two or three minutes for me because the battery on my pedal camera died, but we're back. Get everything going again. Like I said, I have the Metaplexi plugged into the Cairo Audio Dulo, and again, for reference, this is what we got going, just the Dulo by itself. Let's go ahead and engage the Metaplexi because it has a bypass switch on it, kind of like the uh, Kuki did. Let's go ahead and engage that and see what kind of sound we get right off the bat. Everything is at noon EQ wise, the volume's up a little bit. Let's see what kind of sounds we get straight out the gate. And that's with all the EQ at noon. So, first impressions on that, again, sounds like, sounds like a Marshall. It sounds great immediately. It sounds a little muffled to me, it still sounds good, just needs some shaping. Let's go ahead and start turning some knobs on the Metaplexi. Now again, as you can see, the EQ settings over here have not changed. I'm gonna mess with them over here, and if it still doesn't sound kinda like what I'm expecting, then I'm gonna mess with them over here. But so far, it's a win for this. I've not had to mess with anything over there. So let's see. Um, let's dial in some mid, dial out some bass, up some treble. There's also a modern and vintage switch here. We're on the modern setting for now. Let's give some gain, keep the volume the same. And I'm back here. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> Again, it's just showing that the Dulo is so versatile and can take any of these pedals and make it sound like any amp you want it to, essentially. Just for laughs, because this is the last pedal, I'm gonna go ahead and change some of these settings on the Dulo, the EQ settings. I'm gonna give some more mid. Keep, actually let's dial some bass out kind of match what we're doing here. A little bit of treble. I'm gonna keep the presence where it's at. I'm back again. This is the sound we got. There you go. So it's, it's brightening up a little bit. Marshall tone all day long, man. How can you hate it? You can't. So uh, that is the Metaplexi by Cusack Music, by the way. I know I've said it a couple times, but it's Cusack Music. Again, you can buy all these pedals, Shane Star, Guitars and Gear, and the Reverb store link in the description. There's also a lead channel on here. Let's see what that sounds like. Got a yellow light that comes on. It says, hey, taking the lead here. Don't slow down. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice sound all around. I mean, I can't, there's nothing to hate here at all between the Cairo audio, the QSAC music, the barefoot pedals. I mean, it's, it's all good. And you got to remember, all of this is coming through 
the Dulo, right? Well, it's coming through the Black Star, but thanks to the Dulo for powering it, I mean, you're getting 30 watts of goodness with that amp, and I, I, to me, it's 100% worth it. To me, it says, why would you want to get a Fender Tweed that's maybe like this size or a little bit bigger? Why would you get a Marshall 412 with a big old 100 watt head that you have to tote between all your gigs or to recording studios and have a wall covered with nothing but amps? It's pretty to look at, but the second you go to move house or go to a venue and go play for your three fans, it's a lot to lug around, but the Dulo fits in the palm of your hand. And you could take either one of those other pedals or any of the other pedals, distortion pedals or whatever, that are on the market, put it with the Dulo. I mean, it's gonna sound great. I think I've proven that point here. It's gonna sound fantastic no matter what you put through it. So final thoughts, words, questions, concerns, all kinds of stuff on Cairo Audio and these pedals. I'll be honest, when I went into this, I did not know who Cairo Audio was. I was not skeptical, but just kind of weary of, oh, I'm trying out pedals from a brand I've never heard of, which, hey, gotta try new things to realize we like them. I gotta say, I, I really like this. I'm really glad that I gave this a try. I'm super impressed by this, uh, the Dulo. It, this is an amp, <laughs> okay? That's an amp. Look at the size comparison. This is an amp. This plugged into a 212 and could have brought the house down with how good this sounded and how loud it was. I plugged it in the first time off camera and the volume was up probably at about like a, if you're looking at it numbered, probably like a three and a half, blew my ears off. I mean, it was crazy loud. It says a lot. With the Kuki, the preamp, I plugged this into my Boss Katana just by itself. Sounded great, could not get a bad tone out of it. Sounded great, enhanced that amp tremendously. And that's, a, that's already a good sounding amp. These two paired together, bliss. Sounds really good. These two paired together sound really, really good. I really, I mean like that's that's a real authentic Fender-y sound. This, authentic Marshall-y sound. I mean, it's it's crazy. I, I really am blown away that an amp can be put into a pedal. This is a really good pedal. Cairo Audio, well done. You, you have made a really solidly built, I mean, it's a tank. Both of these are. Fantastic products. If you liked the video, hey, please consider subscribing. Give the video a like. Hit the bell notification to be notified when all my videos go live. Again, check the description for all the links to CairoAudio.com. Go check out some other cool products. Shane Star Guitar and Gear, their reverb store where you can go buy the products that were featured in this video. And go check out Art of Shred. He's a cool guy. Get to know him. He's, he's really cool. Watch his videos. I like him a lot. Till next time, guys. See you in the next video. Take care.